Hi everyone, welcome to Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. And we're here today to talk to you about our six gems, or six books that we're looking forward to for the last week of January. January 31st, Woo! we made it one month into the new year. It's already going downhill, baby. But no, that's, all, that's not too bad. Bad. <laughs> um, uh, so we'll have Alex take it away, starting with his six gems of the week that so, he's looking forward to. First of the week, Dark Knights, medal number five. Uh, we talked about it last night, or actually this morning for you guys who listened to the forecast. Um, should be good. I don't know. This is one of those books that's taking a long break again, and it's kind of ruining the flow for my... DC, you need to fix your uh, publication schedule because there's a lot of things that are delayed right now. you got to get that under wraps. Even if I didn't know it was supposed to be coming out earlier, if it was delayed, that wouldn't be a problem. But knowing that it should have been out months ago and it's getting delayed, it's kind of throwing me off. All right. Uh, excited to read it. Looks like we got uh, the Batman Who Laughs, so... And the Joker card is all the heroes. So, this should be good. I'm hoping it's good, at least. Uh, my number two book is Batman Detective Comics, the annual for this year. Uh, I think we're getting, was this the Curse of Clayface? The first, his origin story. first appearance type of thing. So, yeah. hopefully it's good. I only know it from the 1992 I just saw you animated. open that first page. Looks great. Does look, it does look really good. Oh, so, excited. this book should be, should be worth your time. We've got uh, Punisher, The Platoon, number five, five of six. This book is kind of, not necessarily a slow burn, but you're getting more of your um, actually military re realized type of things, not real life things. Um, I'm hoping this book just gives us great fight. Uh, looks great. It's by uh, Garth Ennis, I yep. think. So it, second I know, to last I, issue? I know, yeah, second okay. to last one. And I know he knows how to write a good military story, so... I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm going to save this next book for last. I'm excited for we got Realm number five. Um, Garrett and I both get this book. It's good. It's kind of a slow burn, a little fantasy. Little... You can tell it's going to last a long time. I hope it lasts I mean, a it long. should. Oh, but it's like, how do you describe it, Alex? It's like Dungeons and Dragons mixed with... Last uh, of Us from PS4. There you go. Uh, I wouldn't get that reference because I uh, play Xbox One. True. But this, I tell you what, this is one of those books that I'm glad Garrett and I get. Kind of wish uh, you know our co-host Marvin would read it. But I know, he's too cool for the good stuff. Whatever. I don't know, he's on the forecast. He'll catch up, so I'm going to read it in like yeah, 10 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Godplex, number four. God Complex, number four. Uh, I believe this is Aries on the cover. This is one of those books that the covers always look amazing. I'm kind of wishy-washy on the main story. We're not getting enough of the actual gods in it. We're getting a lot of just Seneca doing some detective Well, work. Seneca's a detective, and I consider a lot to Blade Runner. Uh, wink, Marvin. Um, basically, know. it's kind of like a sci-fi noir. Um, and you get, you know, there's a huge investigation going on, and the gods are involved. But they're like technological gods. I don't think they're actual gods. Um... Yeah, I was, but I mean I, they use the names of like Apollo, and yeah, Apollo, Ares, Hermes. Athena. I do get annoyed when I see a god on the cover and they're not in the actual book, so I need to fix that. Tom, about you, right Athena. But uh, Howard Prasietta, who does the art for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, awesome. Um, pretty sure this is gonna be my pick of my pick of the week is Moon Knight 191. Um, if you've read 190, that cliffhanger was amazing. That I'm not gonna I say. Need to read just... it. Are we talking about on this week's show? Yes. Okay, good. Well, I week. loved the last issue. I've been looking forward to this issue coming out. Oh my gosh! I just read this book. It's it's number two. Thanos number one. Moon Knight number two. Read these books because you're getting good, worthwhile material out of Marvel. Get what you got. Those are your gems. That's all my gems. All right, starting out right off the bat, we got JLA Doom Patrol number one, the start of Milk Wars, and look at that amazing cover by Frank Quietly. Oof. Oh yeah, I'll just leave it there for like five seconds. Woo. Okay, that's long enough. Um, the start of Milk Wars, we're getting Doom Patrol mixing with the Justice League. Um, I know that's I don't know very much about it because I didn't want to read too much into it because I just want to like read it fresh. So. Yeah. Um, I know it's going to be a weekly series, so next week is uh, Batman Mother Panic, so that'll be the second part, but um, definitely excited for this. The art inside, uh, Marvin mentioned on the forecast, the panel work looks incredible. Um, Ooh, it looks good. Very excited to read this, and we're, we're reviewing this on our show this week, so definitely check that out. Um, getting kind of bittersweet on me, Jessica Jones, number 16. We're almost at the end of Bendis' run. Uh, there will be a new creative team. I don't know if it'll be the same, because it's not Bendis. I've been reading yeah. this. I mean, literally, I picked up Alias a year, maybe a year and a half ago, read all that. This is a direct sequel to that. So, uh, I've been loving this book. The art's amazing. Story's incredible. And you see the Purple Man, Jessica Jones, like, her arch nemesis is the Purple Man. So, her having to interact with that while also having a child, horrifying. She's worried that... What happened to her could happen to her daughter with the purple man, so he doesn't hand out candy if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yep. Invincible Iron Man number 596. Uh, another cool cover. We got all the mech suits coming towards uh, Iron Man here. It looks like Riri in the middle there. Um, this book has kind of been like an Iron Man magazine. You get the infamous Iron Man story with Victor Von Doom. You get the Invincible Iron Man story with Riri Williams. And you get, uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. I might have spoiled it on the forecast already. But uh, you get a certain lovable Iron Man character who's trying to fight his way out of a coma, basically. Um, or a panic attack. If that wasn't the spoiler, I don't know what it is. I know. I don't know. I can't tell you. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, there's going to be new readers. I can't spoil it for them. But 595, there's literally three pages of that unknown character. That almost made me, like... Get, I mean, it got, it got me sad and like, you know, it was like bittersweet. So I think, you know, Bendis, when he's at the end of his books, like things are just coming to a head and things are getting emotional, man. We'll see if that happens for Defenders. Defenders, that's not even a book anymore. That's, he obviously planned that for way more than what he was going to do yeah. with it. Uh, next, we got Flash, uh, annual number one since for Rebirth, and it's the prelude to Flash War. I have no idea what's going on. Nope. Uh, we got Barry Allen and... Uh, uh, Wally West, West uh, Kid Wally West's uh, costume empty on the page here, so excited to see what happens. I'm ready for a new rebirth or a refresh for Flash because it's been kind of fizzling a little bit. Agreed. So hopefully this picks it back up because Flash is a great character and he should be doing a lot of great, spectacular things. So. I think that's the nice thing about annuals. Annuals is that almost segue into something right. new. So hopefully this is the and you the, get more uh, pages. Phoenix more pages. rebirth we need. Phoenix rebirth. Don't bring that crap up. Resurrection. Yeah, Resurrection. Um, All New Wolverine, number 30, uh, written by Tom Taylor, art by Juan Cabal. I don't know why I said the creative team, but why not? Um, this is the <laughs> last issue of the Orphans of X arc, and it's been pretty good. I'm not a huge fan that's been focused more on Dakin. I prefer it being more about Laura Kinney and Gabby, because I think she's a great addition to this series. So uh, it's been funny. I'm still trying to get back to those roots that we had right before Legacy. So I hope that uh, it's going to return to that level of content after this arc, because uh, I don't need Dakin in this book. It could be, yeah, it could be Wolverine and Cohen another book, and this could be. Just, it's, it's I, if this of, is all new Wolverine. I want to read just about Wolverine. This is kind of taken away from Laura. So. Right. If it's team a book, give him another book. Uh, last one to talk about today is Bonehead number two. Uh, we got Brian Hills, a writer, and he writes Postal. What a great writer! And the art by a Marcellius. Is incredible. So if you're funny. looking for like a parkour, adrenaline junkie, uh, futuristic type of book with a lot of action or a lot of tech, um, I mean, great like plate like art right there. You get cool costume, futuristic costumes. You get a hero that obviously knows taekwondo or martial arts of some mm -hmm. kind. Uh, so it's just a badass book if you're looking for a good time to read. Uh, I don't think the story's very dense yet. You're looking for a good time, read this book. I know, I'm just saying. I that mean, is fine. It might not have a happy ending, but it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's been fun. I'm really excited to see what issue two has in store. Hopefully it's great, because first issue was. Agreed. Um, so those are our books for the week of January, January 31st. 31st. Uh, you can see it's getting warmer out. We're not wearing hats. First episode, no hats for both of us. He did it last week. Now I'm following suit. Um, so yeah, have a good week of reading comics. I'm Garrett. I'm Alex. And this has been Wednesday Comics, The, the Gauntlet. Gauntlet. Hey everyone, keep collecting those gems.